fat makes you fat. Welcome to the Maltese vegan. So I'm getting ready to go to a focus group. Yeah, it's gonna be about um, weight loss program and uh, what are the you know the barriers to to go into these weight loss programs. In fact, I've got my brown rice cooking over there, not because of glycemic index. Um, it's because I like it. And in fact, I've got another packet of white rice. Just sometimes I decide to go for one, and just sometimes I go for the other. I'm gonna go and throw in the, the rice. <sighs> yes, it's all about also metabolic damage. Um, one of the guys mentioned it there, I didn't have time to get right on that, but uh, you know, I link it to what I just said. This guy who's actually limiting his carbs and, and replacing it with, with fat, um, he's, not, he's not managing. He keeps gaining, gaining weight. I mean, he's obese. I mean, clearly, they've got metabolic damage. They're restricting eating then calorie dense foods, restricting calorie dense food. I mean, it screws up the, the, the whole metabolic system of your body. So there are, you know, three main points which I would give to, to this guy. And then there's a fourth one which I'd like to add, maybe a fifth one. But the most important ones are three. You need sleep and lots of it. We don't get enough sleep. Sleep, if you're sleeping late, then you're not allowing for the production of melatonin, which is the hormone to sleep. To, to actually go to sleep and that in turn is what melatonin self uh, suppresses hunger because you don't need to eat while you're sleeping obviously but if you suppressing melatonin then hunger sets in and you're probably eating eating junk food and you're probably uh, sleeping then right after which means you don't have time to digest secondly if you're exercising if you don't allow your body to repair, then you're breaking down muscle. Muscle is the best form of burning fat. I'm not talking about bodybuilding muscle, I'm just saying actually training your muscle. You know, it could be cycling, it could be, I, I prefer cycling, it could be running, it could be weightlifting, whatever. Um, muscle is what burns fat. So if you're not training the muscle, if you're damaging the muscle, so you need recovery, you need your sleep. And ideally it's before uh, 11 at least 11 is actually very late um, I sleep by 11 but I that's my problem um, it should be before 10 maybe even before 9 but anyway um, so sleep then you've got sugar in the form of carbs I'm saying in the form of healthy carbs I'm not talking about um, donuts which aren't carbs that's fat I'm not talking about ice cream that's fat I'm not talking about pizza with cheese cheese is fat um, not talking about pasta loaded with meat or or creams or cheese that's fat with carbs even worse um, it's I'm talking about pure carbs and there's a lot to eat I hate eating the same thing one uh, more than once in a row and uh, and if I've managed in the past three years to eat something that's different almost every day unless I crave something which I had eaten already in the past um, then you really have no issue with with what to eat. And thirdly, it's exercise. Um, exercise on its own doesn't do much. In fact, it probably makes things worse. You end up uh, getting more hungry, and if you do not know what to eat, you're gonna end up eating the wrong stuff, which makes you even fatter. If you don't know how to exercise, you could also do it worse because if you overdo it, you don't focus a lot on recovery, then you're gonna end up um, over exercising and getting burnout and compensating that for that with more food and the crappy kind. Um, but what's good about exercise is it sets you in a relatively good frame of mind. More exercise, you generally think about what you're eating because. Um, you do not want to waste that effort only to throw it away by eating crap. It also you know gives you that feel good factor and uh, and it I mean it's known scientifically that it actually even helps with depression and depression in itself 
might lead you to uh, or might lead you astray uh, from a proper healthy diet. Another point, and the the, the fourth uh, tip was about um, fiber. I think fiber is well. I not so that I think it's that the science says so. Um, fiber is very important. It's not a question of uh, an aid. It's not an, as an aid to limit your calories or to to not to make you feel full before uh, you can actually eat other stuff. Um, it's just so that you give your body the tools it needs to clean itself from the inside. So I'm talking about digestive system. Imagine it to be the, the bristles on on a on a broom. On a fiber is just that. It helps push out, it helps the body push out uh, the crap, the fat, cholesterol, the toxins that build up in your body. I mean, and just fiber, for example, just in beans, um, McGregor has a study, a video out um, showing that um, just by increasing your fiber, for example, through beans, it's associated with lower or reduced risk of of heart disease and probably even cancer if I remember well. Uh, there, was, there was another point about the fact that it's uh, expensive to eat healthy and I kind of agree with that and I don't. It's kind of half, half, half. You're talking about healthy food in restaurants, I agree, they overcharge for that because healthy doesn't isn't expensive so obviously if you're paying more than it's actually worth that's for me is expensive if we're talking about health foods in health shops and you know these kind of that sell these woo woo uh, powders and and uh, vitamins supplements and stuff like that yes those are expensive obviously they're trying to make money of that so it's no different from uh, a ph pharmacy a pharmacy is just selling drugs that give negative side effects the others may or may not they could also have negative side effects but they're essentially what I'm saying is one and, one and the same so but when I'm talking about vegetables fruits those if you had a spectrum might be on the more expensive side compared to other things but compared to meat it's still cheaper I mean this guy was complaining about a 4 kilo box of vegetables for 4 euros. That's expensive compared to this amount of meat for 8 euros. I don't, I don't get it. And um, the other ed end of the spectrum, what is there? You've got grains and beans, legumes. I mean they're, the che they're dirt cheap. People in rural rural Asia, uh, in the middle of nowhere, remotely, you know, poor people, they're actually serve, uh, they're live, actually living on this food, and that's where, in fact, the other guy came up with the point that he's traveled the world, has been to the U.S., etc., um, because their poor people pre uh, can afford fast food. Yeah, but that's not what I was going, I was getting at. We're talking about health food, which is the cheapest health food or the cheapest food and fast food I don't think don't although it has the word food don't even consider it as food that's crap what is cheapest health food we've got beans and rice if we're talking about fast food sorry then it's a false economy first of all in terms of health I mean health at least in US is very expensive Malta we think it's we think it's cheap because it's practically free, but uh, we don't realize that we're actually paying it through our taxes. It would be much cheaper. So, um, by saying fast food is cheaper, nah, not really. And we're not even talking about subsidies that, at least in the U.S., are given to beef to the meat industry. First of all, those are going out of your taxes, and secondly the meat itself would probably cost 10 times if not 100 times as much as it's currently costing you if it wasn't subsidized so false economy don't trust just you know the direct payments it's not just that you're paying much more than that so finally I mean what I'm really offering here is is, is just my help um, I've got nothing to gain no financial interest no commission from anything I haven't even tried to sell you anything I mean 
what I'm offering is my help. I know what works. You want my help? I'm here. If you don't want it, I mean, I'm sorry. I wish I could help you, but you don't want my help. Um, this goes out to those people in the focus group. If you see, watch this video, um, just contact me. If it's anyone else who's watching this and wants to lose weight, I can also help you. Just contact me. Peace.